Before you start the first year in your intake procedure, you have to choose a discipline. We have a programming, visual arts, and design. I chose design, and depending on that, I also had to go through my intake and deliver a portfolio. Um, so yeah, the first year is you have four projects. How mine looked like was the first block we had a uh, we had to make a tabletop board game. Uh, second block we had to recreate a and research and recreate an arcade game into uh, Unreal Engine. Third block, we had to create a side-scroller platformer game, and this was a more creative block where you could choose your own features and decide how to implement them. Uh, fourth block, um, so the fourth block was is the most interesting one, in my opinion. It, it is where you create a project together with the other disciplines. So all the first uh, three uh, projects are within your own discipline, and the fourth project is together with the other disciplines. So you create something uh, cool with uh, together with the programmers, visual artists, and designers. The majority of the program is uh, projects, but we also have workshops and lectures and uh, the teachers, the industry veterans who aid the students into achieving certain goals or helping with problems. So that's mostly how you get the theoretical knowledge. We also have self-study hours that are within the uh, mandatory hours you have to spend on school where you read books, watch your tutorials and just gather uh, knowledge from the internet itself. So, so far my favorite guest lecture was Mike Sellers. Um, because I'm also studying system design in second year, Mike Sellers uh, is a very known prof uh, professor in the gaming industry with system design and he came, like he did an online lecture for uh, the students here and that was really informative. So my favorite project, I think uh, it's the one in Block C where we had to work on the side-scroller platformer game. I believe that I learned the most from that uh, project because um, so we had to choose our own feature features and I worked on the camera which is not really a standard feature that you would work on this project but the teachers gave me a go and I built up a lot of knowledge about how to use and implement a camera in, in a video game so I would say Block C is definitely my favorite uh, block so far. So how our typical school days or weeks look like? Uh, we have two mandatory days that we have to be at school. Where we work in labs uh, on your project with your team and uh, where you interact with the industry veterans. Um, we have one day in a week we have workshops on lectures and guilds. This is more mostly to increase your knowledge on certain aspects because uh, that's also one thing about our education is that you're free in what you want to like specialize in. So for example, me as a designer, I'm interested in world building. We have a world building guild, so I attend that one uh, on the Wednesday workshops. Uh, outside of that, we have self-study days. Those are the days that you have to work on improving yourself and working on the extra documentation, etc. And that's basically what you can expect from a week.